Hello everyone, welcome to another Let's Play video of Miss Survival Game. In last video we finally found this truck, which is gonna be really useful. And now we can start doing some serious business, right? Uh, in this episode I would like to finish my uh, purifier, distiller, uh, because it's one of the essential things for survival, right? We want to have like stable resource, right? Water and food in a base so that we don't depend on the <coughs> looting food and, and drinks, right? So we want to finish this first. So, in order to do that, I need bucket, uh, metal scraps, firewood, stone. Yeah, okay, bucket. We can create a workbench. It's a great thing we have a workbench, right? And here it is on this section tools. What do we need? Me four metal scraps and one component okay that's something we have i think i think i'm gonna create two maybe i need to fill up my belly just quickly yeah i should okay let's just quickly eat something okay there we go. i like when i'm home i like to eat these because this one, can fruits, are really useful for the travel because they g give the hunger and thirst. So, yeah, let's drink this. Okay, now, metal scraps, components. Okay, let's go and make two buckets. The reason why I'm making two of them is self craft or assign. Can make two of them, but let's just quickly save game. If some glitches happen. <laughs> okay, uh, the reason why I'm making two of them is because one I need for the uh, purifier to work and the other I'm gonna use to bring the water I'm gonna show you when we come to that part what I mean but yeah so we have this we just press E yeah and bucket puts there but the game shows we have like break or something <laughs> which is weird of course okay we need six more metal scraps we can bring that thinking well, right okay there we go now we need firewood and some stone eight stones okay stones are basically all around the place you, you just kind of have to run around and look for them most of the time they're not hard to be found but let's see if the game is going to troll me there we go there's one feather yeah other one i'm just gonna quickly run around and find the rocks we need i i don't think the bears gonna show up here so we should be pretty safe at least for now what's this and of course I'm gonna find everything except the rocks, right? Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, how much do I have? Five, I think. Yeah. Six and two more. Berries, not interested. 
thank you, but no thank you. Hmm, just two more rocks. Well, I'm glad that I have to spend so much time looking for them. Oh, come on, just give me two rocks. Police. Okay, bear is in that direction, so I'm not gonna go there. Let's see, let's see, let's leave maybe this area. Just give me two rocks, man. Seems like game likes to troll you, right? Like it knows what you're looking for. Stone, okay. One more. Hello, chicken. Oh, now you're running. <laughs> Learned the lesson, I guess. Come on, just one more. One more. There we go. Okay, great. Let's put those stones in use. Oh, I depleted my stamina. That's not good. Okay. That's finished. Now we need four firewood. That shouldn't be too hard. Let's quickly cut the tree. Now there's a problem with the trees. I don't know if they can damage my car. Um, when they fall, the problem is... Oh no, again a glitch. Come on. You literally have to fully stop the car and then turn off the engine. It's a bit annoying, but okay. Uh, problem with the trees is you can't predict where will they fall. It's just randomly happening, so. It could fall and damage my car. I don't want that to happen. Okay, as you see, uh, previous videos I mentioned this uh, when I was saying don't go around and pick up uh, leaves and branches right and there is tree bark those are the things uh, tree barks you're gonna need to start fires and of any kind so what I meant is literally this when you cut the trees for the logs or the firewood you will passively get this right so it's waste of time going around and picking up branches and leaves as you, as you can see I have started cutting from here and then I continued from here but the tree decided to fall down. It, it's just completely random so I haven't tested if it damages anything but I don't even want to there are logs now let's pick these up quickly Okay, you can cut these two to clear out your field if you want, which is nice, Let's see. And yeah, I don't think they will regrow, but we shall see. We shall see. So now let's just uh, put the stuff that we don't need at the moment. Okay, we can use this space. First off, let's do this. I can put those here because it's easier to be found. Okay, okay. Uh, let's do this and this. Now we shall go behind the house and make some firewood. We will create five, right? craft yourself. As you can see we have option to assign work to AI which we will be doing once we save some survivors. It can be glitchy or in, uh, in most of the time it's not even useful but you can do it for fun. I mean assign them. Okay let's bring up the firewood and that's it that's it guys we made it uh, 
now interact with it and as you can see here we need matches more firewood of course and tree bark uh, you need tree bark to start any kind of fire whether it's like purifier or, or your campfire whatever it is you, you will need this and we put dirty water here and it takes some long time to distill it to this bucket then you can take it for me i will show you i will show you so right now we need more bark which means we have to cut trees now that part is kind of annoying to me because we have this right low grade fuel which you can use to increase the chance of fire starting i'm gonna show you that but what i mean is if i have this then why am i so highly dependent on tree bark which happens to be uh, really hard to fall from trees it's kind of you get really small amounts and you need a lot of it so what happens is you you end up well it happened to me i uh, like i need to start a fire to build something and start a fire like you know like uh, the f uh, okay distiller right so i need to put four of them i need to cut two trees and in some situations i have to like cut five trees only to get this bark and what happens is I have a lot of logs and a branch and stuff and I use my space for those just in order to get bark which is really annoying but we will try to find a way around it let's just go and cut at least one more tree and sometimes what happens is you do, don't even get bark uh, so that's really really annoying in my opinion that what you can do right I mean logs are not gonna like use your inventory space or you know and stay there forever you're gonna ooh, well, at least I I'm gonna build fence around the base so I will have where to use them oh great we have four of them so I will have where to use all those logs but still it's really really annoying that I have to go through all this work just to get like a few barks oh uh, yeah okay we should have enough now yeah see you don't even have to put it here you just have to have it in the inventory so let's go make some more firewood and take some matches there okay let's take some more okay doesn't even matter let's just go make some more firewood i hope mist is not gonna show up i'm be i have been blessed at least for now you can increase here you can do like more but takes more time which means more risk what jesus christ <laughs> i saw myself and i <laughs> freaked out okay that's unusual okay so we can make this start but we're not gonna do that yet first what we're gonna do is as I mentioned in the first episode, this is just another reason why I love this house. You know, in the back of the house, we go here uh, to that over there. Okay, so I already went there a few times, but what I mean is, as you can see, there's a lake, and probably in the future updates. Who knows? Maybe we will get. Uh, to fish and whatnot, right? It's a good location. For now, it's like I can drink it, which I will not do because it's unsafe. And I can fill the bottle. It says a bottle, but if you do this and you put the bucket, 
just say fail. 10 liters, bring it back into inventory. You have to do that, otherwise it's gonna be, I think, lost. So, game tells you you can do that with the plastic bottles, right? But you can actually do that with back bucket, which is much, much quicker, less annoying. So, we're gonna come here, put the unsafe water, now we say, oh, mistake, sorry, you have to actually say how much, so I'll, I'm gonna give all, take back it out, and now I say distill, and it's working, see? Once it finishes, I can take plastic bottles and fill them all up here, which is great. Now we have stable water source. And I get thirsty, of course. <laughs> um, I drink this quickly. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, what's going on? I just take one of these. Okay. And now I'm gonna store these logs. As you can see, because of the... I needed some firewood, not a lot needed some and I needed bark so <laughs> look what happened only two trees used up all my space it's annoying at least for me okay let's use both of these for the wood material should I put bucket here I don't know ah yeah I'm gonna put bucket here I don't want that to be in my way. Okay, matches here. Uh, uh, materials, crafting materials, stone here. Okay, we are losing space. We don't have much space to, to use, so water is distilling. What we can do is go, 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 go with the truck and loot fuel locations so that we can find some lockers hopefully because now that we have a truck we don't have to we don't have to build them to craft them so let me think quickly where should I go actually oh yeah let's go to the motel we have guns I have a gun with one bullet right which is really bad, but can't do much about it. Okay, are the lights on or off? Now oh, it's off, I guess. Okay, let's go to motel, and hopefully, hopefully find what we need. Right? I'm not sure about that, but okay. Wait a second. Last time, stop. We had some lockers here, right? So we could take them off. I don't need this. I am not gonna take this. This to home. So let's see. Take it. Okay, that's weird. Let's try with this one. Got stuck. Uh, yeah. Put it here got to open let's go just and if you scroll your mouse wheel you can put it further away from you which is nice another one as I mentioned before I would like to make those secure security lockers or whatever they called they have much more space and they are safer even though they are expensive to build I want them but for now because we are limited with resources I'm just gonna use these for the beginning and 
now that I think about it, as we know we have, we can destroy tractors and moving houses over there, so that we can get materials, so why not? Uh, it's lower with the axe and breaks axes quite, quite fast. We need sledgehammer to do this quickly, uh, but I don't have crafting stations and materials to do that right now, so it's gonna happen in the near future, I hope. We took that. What's this? No leaf. Oh! Haven't I? I thought I took all from these cars. Seems like not, or it's respawn. Day 3. No. I don't know. My mistake, I don't know. Maybe I didn't pick up. <coughs> I just take these out. This is gonna be fun though. Before you could destroy these cars. The tractors and those moving houses are not destructible. I mean, it's a nice way of getting materials, you know. The most annoying thing, one of the most annoying thing, things is when you have to, like, search more than one location just because you need, like, 10 more scrap metal, right? So it's nice that you have a way to gather them now. Oh, stamina, come on. So yeah, I depleted stamina. I need to recover quickly. I haven't brought anything to drink. Smart me, right? Oh, what should I do? Nothing. I'm gonna just take this and go back to base to bring that. Home. Ironically, I'm gonna probably need. I'm gonna probably have to use these lockers now to store the thing that I just gathered. But yeah, that's how it works. Have I closed the bag? I think I have. Let me just. Oh come on! I keep forgetting to stop. Okay, let's check out. Yeah, it's closed. As you can see, you can carry them around. Anything you can move uh, with the M button can be stored in this truck and carry it around, which is nice. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be changed in the future, but. I'm not sure. We shall see. Great. Fully stopped. Oh! Wrong button. Stop. Okay. Let's see. Where should I keep them? Probably here. Or here in this corner. No. Uh, one thing that bothers me is. I'm not sure if the infected can destroy these windows. And therefore, if I put my lockers here and they destroy the window, will they destroy my lockers and I lose items? That's not a good thing, right? In our earlier playthroughs, I... I didn't have that problem. Because I basically didn't let them come to my base so often, you know. When I see misting uh, coming, I just go to sleep. Is it put well? Not perfect. We can fix that. Come on! More. There we go. Now oh, it's good. Better. Okay, next one. Oh, really? Oh, you're gonna do that? I don't think you will, sir. 
No, you won't. Okay, next one. Rotate. Oh, too much. Oh, yeah. This axe, man. Come on. What is going on? Just go there, okay? Just, just go there. He doesn't want to listen to me, so great. Just awesome. Doesn't want to go all the way, as you can see. Or not. Let's try from here. Just try. Okay. Seems like that's the closest I can do it. I don't mind. I don't mind. Let's go. Next one. Ah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and just please listen to me. Not so hard. Oh dear God! What's going on? Let's try from here. Okay. And yeah. Well, for some reason I can't make them closer, and I don't want to bother myself with that. So this first one, let's use it for crafting material roots, nails. here yeah great we have lockers now three of them we're gonna bring more a lot of them probably and once we get to the point where I will have the resources to build security lockers I'm probably gonna destroy them then just to get materials from them yeah let's check out this quickly okay nah not even a first liter but okay I'm gonna quickly show you how it works before I end my video <laughs> yeah, time runs quickly I made like my first two videos much longer guys but since my PC is as I mentioned, where did I put bucket? Jesus Christ, here? Oh yeah. Um, or should I take bottles? Probably should. Am I thirsty? Yeah. Okay, here's an empty bottle. I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay. Um, I made my first videos much longer, but the problem is because of bad PC and not so great internet, I have struggled to put my videos on YouTube, like 30 something minutes of video takes me around 8 to 10 hours to work on it, you know, to make it, to uh, upload it, it just takes too much time, so I had to shorten them, but I hope you understand guys. So this is how it works. Uh, these bottles takes, uh, take maximum 2 liters, so we shall see that in the next video. I'm just, I just want to show you quickly what it happens. So you put your empty bottle here, it has to be empty, you cannot have uh, dirty water in itself. You can, you can have like some of the clear water, but if you have dirty, like when you put clear over it, it's gonna waste it and it's gonna be dirty water. So make sure bottles, bottles are clean with clean water or completely empty. So you put the bottle, you say take, it empties the bucket, you take out the bottle and that's it. That's it guys, you can't uh, increase refill the uh, dirty water until it's finished so you have to f finish first this take out all the clear water then do the process again but it's really great way of 
getting water and from my experience you need only one of these maybe if you get all three survivors and you go crazy with everything you can make two of those and speed up the process but for now it's completely okay so yeah guys let's quickly uh, bring this back water let's eat candies <clears throat> okay this drink a little should actually put bucket here with the food yeah. oh the save this is annoying you can't close your inventory or something with the save is on but okay we just clean this out quickly so yeah guys we have we have made the water pure proof purifier Jesus Christ my English okay and I have shown you how it works if you have questions about it of course you can ask and yeah uh, that's gonna be pretty much it for today guys um, time runs out it's dark out so yeah for now I'm trying to uh, play the game only in daytime you know because as you can see it's really hard to see anything for myself and uh, when I make a video it's even worse so for now we are doing only daytime and that's probably gonna change in the future but yeah we got some lockers we made a water purifier and yeah next thing what we are gonna do in the next video we are gonna make probably a dry racks and try to hunt some bears so yeah we're gonna make some food okay guys if you like it please like subscribe uh, use the comment section as I always say and yeah that would be it see you in the next video guys bye bye so